Hey, it's the Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I have the pleasure to be joined by... Uh, Jens from the Holy Ghost, from it's Stockholm. It's great to be chatting to you this evening. How's Stockholm today? Is it sunny and bright? Uh, no, it's <laughs> rainy. <laughs> Sounds like England, right? Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, rainy quite a while now. Yeah. But that's normal, normal Swedish summer for you. So, yeah. so all right, yeah. all right, mate. Then first up, can you give us a little bit of a history of the band, the Holy Ghost, and what other names uh, did, did you come up with before settling on the Holy Ghost? Uh, uh, well, the history of the band is, um, I guess, it started as a more like a project with me and Thomas, who I've been playing with. For well, since I was thirteen, I guess, <laughs> and he was fifteen. So uh, he's the bass player, um, and we did a recording just me and him, where I played everything and sang, and he played the bass. And um, then a while after that, maybe a year or so, we started the band. Got a second guitar player and a drummer. And we did a recording, which we released only on streaming. <clears throat> then we had some personnel changes and uh, made uh, another, uh, like a real record, which we uh, put out on our own uh, label. Um, and then um, uh, the pandemic hit and... <laughs> Because of that and other factors, that that band didn't survive. So um, we ourselves some new people, and now we're here. <laughs> really? uh, I don't think uh, I can't even remember any other names I considered actually. Um, but I did think about the name the Holy Ghost a, a long time before I decided on it because. Uh, of the religious connotations or whatever, and I, I don't want to be uh, mistaken for being a Christian or a Catholic or anything. But you know, uh, so, but I can't, re I can't recall any other uh, names, actually. Okay, because your band logo as well is very psychedelic and very sort of seventies, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, it's not like a proper logo is the it's the font we use for this record uh but it's uh yeah we don't have a logo as such okay. but yes it is uh i'd say it's 60s inspired <laughs> and it goes with and it goes with the with the title of the record excellent can you tell us a little bit about your mini album then that you're releasing in september and what can we expect it, from it um, well, it's seven songs, 23 minutes long. Uh, we did it only me and Thomas before we got the band together. So once again, we it's a two-man thing. Uh, we recorded it at my friend's studio here in Stockholm called The Dust Ward. Uh, excellent place run by a very fine gentleman <laughs> named Stefan Bremström. Um, uh, I don't know. What can you expect? I guess you know. Have you heard the two songs we have released so 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 far? I've heard one of them. Yes, just recently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, it's kind of like that, but it's a little of everything happening on record. Uh, it's a loud guitar rock, I guess. Loud, you know, indie rock, post-hardcore stuff, kind of melodic and, um, you know, uh, a bit emo-ish, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so, will you be yeah. having a release party in Stockholm, and other plans to sort of like have live streaming? No, there's no plans for live streaming. But yeah, we're having a release party on the release day. Uh, in a, like uh, a dive bar, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, they have uh, like a stage in the basement, 
takes holds about a hundred people, that'll be probably enough space for us. But it'll be fun. I um, think it'll you, be fun. Are there plans to take the Holy Ghost out on the road and even get over into the UK if possible? Uh, sure. <laughs> I would like to, but there's no definite plans as of now. But let's see what happens. I'd, I'd like to come back and play in in England. Okay. We haven't been... I mean, the Holy Ghost is kind of a new, new band. And we haven't really played anywhere except Stockholm. So, uh, I don't know. We don't have any tour plans as of now, but we'll see. So have you I know some people there. Do you know some people in the UK? So have you played the UK before in previous bands? Yeah, yeah, I have. Cool. Only we were there once with my former band uh, and played some kind of... We played London and uh, Brighton. Um, Brighton was some kind of pub gig and the London show was at a place called Bar Monster in Camden. Right. Uh, it was fun. Both of them really fun. Cool. But I don't know. The whole Brexit thing makes it a little more, uh, you know, complicated, I guess. Yeah, it seems to, it seems to like, yeah. messed everything uh, up. I, I mean, yeah, mostly for you guys, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, so many... Um, Swedish rock and metal bands, how hard is it to get the deserved recognition you deserve when there's so many bands about? Uh, I don't know. Um, I've always just, you know, I, we're from the underground punk DIY side of things. And I mean, of course, I'm a musician. I want people to listen to what I do but and what we do, but recognition is well that's not the main point yeah I mean I you know what I mean mm-hmm. yeah uh, but there's a lot of bands here that's true uh, Sweden has a lot of bands a lot of most of them are not my cup of tea but there are a few really good bands I would say so uh it's getting harder um, to to get shows. I have noticed, uh, especially since after the pandemic, when everything is kind of saturated and everyone's playing, everybody wants to play. You know, so yeah. maybe as a small band that is kind of unknown, uh, it's, it's uh, not so easy. Cool. So going back to the mini out. But when it gets released in September, are there plans to release any singles or videos before release date? Uh, we, I don't know if we're going to do a video, but there's going to be a, a third single released on 25th of August. It's going to be a song called Worker's Curse. That's the last teaser before the whole, the whole thing gets released in September. Brilliant. So then, can you give us name three bands that have influenced you in your journey as a musician? Uh, <clears throat> do you want me to name bands that name three like bands kind that, of, that sort of kind of, sound, you? kind of sound like us or no, or no no three bands be that, an, anyone no no three bands that sort of like influenced you yourself as a musician growing up through the years you know like I don't know. I was going to say ABBA because you're Swedish. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know, but like... Well, so- uh, uh, well, I mean, as it pertains to the sound of our band, I would have to say, <clears throat> Times of Junior, Husker Du, and Sonic Youth. Cool. That's like three, three really major influences. Brilliant. So then, yeah. can you tell me what was the last song you listened to today? Uh, last song I listened to? Um, oh, I listened to the new Meshuggah album when I was out walking. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. 
What do you think of it? I like it. I like them. Cool. I love them. Brilliant. Yeah. Fucking. They're, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, they're one of those truly unique bands, not only in Sweden, but, you know, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I love them, Sugar. Brilliant. So next, yeah. next one. If there was a rock song about yourself, what would it be called? Uh, like a fictional or a real? Yeah, one? a fictional one. Yeah, just made up. Oh, that's a hard question. You put me on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, I I identify with lyrics all the time when I hear them, but um, well. Um, What would it be called? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good song. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. There'll be there there there's been a lot of songs called I don't know. I know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe uh, I feel very frustrated with the low with the slow pace of human evolu- evolution. What about that as a title? Brilliant. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Okay, mm-hmm. so my, my Belgian friend likes to ask this of musicians, sometimes get some rude answers, but here we go. If you were a musical instrument, what would you be? Uh, well, I play guitar, so I guess that's what I would be. Okay. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Is there a particular song written by someone else that you wish you had written? Oh, so many. Yeah. I mean, so many. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can think about one. I mean, there's, there's a lot of nice love songs and everything, but there's also like the put down songs, which can be kind of, uh, kind of something you go to in your mind when someone's being an asshole, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, there's plenty of those. <laughs> uh, do you know a band called Drive Like Jehu? No, that's a new one on me. Uh, they've, yeah, they're from San Diego. Uh, they were active in the 90s, I right. guess. Uh, early part of the 90s. Uh, huge influence on me as a guitar player. Uh, they have the song called Do You Compute? which is just like the latter thing that I talked about, you know, like a really good, uh, uh, like uh, something you wish you just could say to someone who's being an asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So the next question is, can you tell me why we should check out the Holy Ghost? Well, if you're curious about uh, what a bunch of, you know, near, around people around 50 years old are doing here in Stockholm, maybe, I don't know, if you're into some of the music that we like, perhaps you would be interested. I don't know. Uh, I don't think you should. You could if you wanted to. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. Yeah. Can you give me them four words to describe the Holy Ghost? Um, like adjectives to describe the music? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, melodic, um, punky, um, rock music. <clears throat> melodic, punky, rock music. That's uh, That's what we do. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, so it's now, just now five questions, either or either. So the first one is a small intimate gig or festival? A uh, small intimate gig. Meatballs or beer? Uh, well, I'm a vegetarian, so, but there's kind of good uh, soy meatballs. There but is. I do like I do like beer too, so that's a hard one. Uh, (laughs) but if it's an either or proposition i guess i'd have to give up the meatballs okay are you a saint or a sinner 
Uh, neither. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe I, I don't believe in any of it. Okay. Um, vinyl or digital? Uh, vinyl. Last one is ABBA or helicopters. Oh, helicopters! No question. <laughs> one of the greatest bands to ever come out of Sweden. Absolutely. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, hopefully we'll catch you over here in the UK or in mainland Europe somewhere. Um, do you have yeah. any final words for your fans, our viewers and listeners? Thanks for checking us out, I guess.